Hi, welcome to the fourth episode on compactness. In the last three sessions, we defined compact spaces and looked at our standard list of examples and proved a couple of easy results also on the way. In fact, not one important result we proved, two important results. If f is a continuous real value function a compact space, then it is bounded, it attains its least upper bound and greatest lower bound. That is, it attains maxima and minima. We proved it. Right? And today what we are going to talk about is uh, compact subsets of a topological space. Those of you who had already watched my videos on connectedness should recall. I first defined compact, sorry, connected spaces and we did a lot of examples and later only I defined what is meant by connected subsets. I, I hope you remember and understand. If you had understood well, now you should be able to define compact subsets of your topological space. I'm sure you can do it. Try it before we get started. Yeah? Just pause the video for a few seconds. Try to see if A is a subset of a topological space, how will you define? X need not be compact. But I want to define A to be compact. The subset, right? Try. So, let us start with the definition. X tau a yeah, topological space not necessarily compact. Okay. And let A be a subset of X. We will always assume non-empty because empty set is compact. Okay. Then I want to define A is compact. When do I say A is compact? So we say now let tau A be the subspace topology on A induced by the topology tau on X. Okay. We say that A is compact is a compact subset of X. If the topological space A tau A is compact. You understand the definition? It's similar to the way you define connected sets. So this again, notice that this is a standard trick. Okay, when you want to define something new, reduce it to the nearer problem. Okay, that's what we did. Compact space we are defined. So given a subset A, you do, you give the subspace topology on A and look at the topological space A tau A. And as a space, if this compact, I say the subset A is compact. Yeah? Yeah. So before we go further, okay, I would like to simplify okay our dealings with compact sets in the following way. Okay. And this is very important. Do you remember I my approach to connectedness was simplified because of introduction of a characterization in terms of continuous functions which takes values in a discrete set right so here similarly i want to okay make our life easy to deal with compact subsets okay so let us okay so i want to define two open covers two types of open covers of a subset a okay and this is not a standard uh, terminology what i'm going to call type 1 type 2 okay for our course we will understand that okay the first thing is let let us assume vi i in i so that each vi is in tau a is an open cover because to talk about the compactness of a what i have to do i have to look at subspace topology and take an open cover from the subspace 
right now but remember how did you define a subspace okay the topology and the subset that is that means there exists a ui and remember this ui need not be unique okay I'm just repeating and yeah this is the time I would like you to visit my videos on subspace topology I think there are about three or four videos on subspace topology and please watch those things carefully okay so this UI you know such that UI intersection A is VA this is how we define the subspace topology right so I say V a subset of A is open that is V belong to tau A if and only if there exists some open set U in tau tau of x so that V is U intersection A okay I hope all of you remember this okay <laughs> so now let's look at this collection ui i and i notice that this ui is not unique but for each i there is a one ui it is fix that ui okay then make this collection this is a collection of open subsets subsets of x but you should notice that u is contained in union i and i of ui is this clear because a equal to union vi i and i right because vi is a subset of a remember that but each vi is a subset of ui therefore this is a collection of union i and i in ui right so ui is a collection of open subsets of x such that a is contained in union i and i of ui okay you follow that so given an open cover vi i in i okay each vi in top of a an open cover of a we have produced and uh, a family of open sets ui I and I with uh, so that UIs are in tau is open in X and two A is a subset of union UI. Yeah, this is what you have done. Pause review. So I am going to make a collection UI I and I of open sets in X is uh, called an open cover of A of type one if one I am just repeating UI belong to tau x for all i in i and two a is a subset of union UI right so this is I call it an open cover of a but then you don't UI is need not be subset of a but UI are subsets of X, but the union of UI contains C. Right? So the picture will be something like this. Okay. Suppose this is my X and this is my A. Okay. The type 1 open covers may look like this. Okay, like that. So the, these blue eye items are something like your UI, and uh, this pink one is your A. 
and A is contained in that. Okay, keep that picture in mind. So I don't know to deal with open subsets of A I, to define. Okay, to work. With it. Okay, the other one I call as type two. Okay, a collection. I simply simply say and open cover of A consisting of of open subsets of A in the subspace of volume. The body is called an open cover of A. Type two or or type two for A or of A. Right? And again think carefully, therefore when I say A is compact, I am talking about type two covers. Are you following? See, you will be surprised. This kinds of things is never very carefully explained in textbooks by even some other teachers. So please understand this. Now what we are going to do is the following. This is a basic observation. If you want to call it, think of it as a theorem, lemma or proposition. Okay. Let A be a subset of X where X tau is a topological space. Then A is compact. This is according to our definition. If and only if for every open cover of type type one admits a finite subcover. So it's more important to understand this observation. What does it say? When I say A is compact, that means you give me VI and open cover of A such so that VIs are open in A in the surface topology. Right? You understand? This is compact with respect to this definition. What does it say? It says that if it is compact, you give me any open cover of type 2, that is, UIs are I in I and UIs are open in X and A is a subset of union UI. Okay, then I can extract a finite subcode. That means there exists an F, a sub finite subset of I, so that A is contained in J in F of UJ. This is what the theorem says. And conversely, conversely, what does it say? It says that if every open cover of type 1 of A, I, admits a finite subcover then a is compact according to our definition okay please pause review understand the statement the proof is extremely easy okay so let us assume a is compact that means the space tau a is compact okay now let ui i in i be an open cover of type 1 for a that means what ui are in tau of x and union ui a is contained in union ui and that's it yeah Then what is that I have to prove? I have to prove that there exists a finite subset f of i such so that a is already contained in union j over f of ug. Therefore, this type 1 cover admits a finite subcover. This is what I have to prove. Do all of you understand that? Okay. Now let us look at, let me define VI to be UI intersection A, right? So I have to get an open cover for A of type 2. How will I do that? Obvious, right? Intersect each UI with A. Then let us look at this collection VI, I in I, okay? So these are all open, subsets of A, because UIs are open, therefore VIs are open in 
the surface topology and what is union ui sorry union vi okay this is equal to a because this is union i and i of ui intersected with a right but this is same as a intersected with union ui right but remember a is a subset of this whenever a is a subset of b then a intersection b is a and there since a is a subset of d this means this is equal to a so we proved it right therefore vi i in i is an open cover of type 2 type 2 since a is compact what do i know there exists a finite subset of i so that a equal to vj j in f but remember each vj is contained in uj therefore this is a subset of union j in f of uj therefore this collection uj this u u j j in f is a finite subcover of type 1 so I proved it ok pause review proceed yeah now converse so what is the converse So, you whenever you give me an open cover of type one, it admits a finite subcover, right? Therefore, I have to find. I have to say A is compact, right? So, let assume that any open cover of A of type one. Admits a finite subcover. I want to know that does this mean A is compact? So to prove A is compact, what are what are you going to give me? You are going to give me a collection V i, an open cover, and each V i is open in the subspace topology. Okay. right so i want to prove there is a finite subcover right now remember vi is open in tau v that means there exists a ui so again think carefully so to i want to make use of the hypothesis what does that mean that means i have to produce an open cover of type one that is i have to find open sets ui so that union ui contains a where will i find that ui since VIs are open in A, subspace topology, there, there is a UI, okay, so that UI belongs to tau, and so that my VI is UI intersection A. Yeah? Now, what do you think I will do? What can you say about UI, I in I? This an open cover of A of type 1 right because a equal to union ui but this is what we had already seen sorry union vi i and i but each v is contained in ui and these are all open here yeah, right therefore this admits a finite subcore because that's our hypothesis hypothesis implies this so let f be a finite subset so that my a is contained in union u j j in f so what do you think i should claim obviously let's look at v j j in f this is a finite subcover 
because union u v j union j in here of v j equal to union u i u j intersection a is exactly the same proof okay this is union j in j j in sorry f of u j intersect with a but a is a subset of this therefore is equal to a etc exactly the same proof so pause review proceed so it's important to understand this it's this is very rarely and carefully done in okay understand this so i can so when i want to prove a subset is compact depending upon the situation okay whichever is useful to me okay which will be helpful or support you for my work i can choose either type 1 cover or type 2 covers whichever is easy for me to work with given the particular context i can work with that and prove it's compact or etc do you understand that you will see okay you will see application of this trick as we go along okay learn this well this is very easy but somehow for some strange reason it's uh, quickly gone through for all it's done so now let's go to look at examples again so let us look at examples now examples of compact sets, subsets so first example okay now notice that any finite subset this is the first example f topology space is compact notice that why this is true because if f is a finite subset of x where x tau is a topological space and if ui is a collection of, of open sets okay is an open cover of type 1 you see that i don't know to worry about the subspace topology now <laughs> do you understand the beauty of this approach okay then given any x for every x in f there is an ix in i so that my x has to be in ui or ifx right because my assumption is my subset is contained in ui i and i right therefore given any x there is an ix so that x belongs to ux right therefore let's look at this collection ui x we had already seen something similar okay as x varies over f this is a finite subcover yeah so what is the beauty of this i did not worry about what is the subspace topology do you understand this okay pause review proceed now let's look at second example suppose x tau where tau is discrete Now give me any subset A as usual I will assume A is non-empty. Okay. Right? And what is the subspace topology on A? Okay. In fact, you don't have to even worry about. So for each A in A, let's look at this singleton A. This is open. Right? Therefore, this A in A is an open cover of type 1 for a right because each singleton is open right so this admits of finite subcover when if only if a is finite yeah because a equal to union of singleton a and you want to say finite subset f a subset of a contained this that means it must be finite is that clear 
so what have we concluded so the conclusion you should learn how to do that also okay so a subset of a discrete space is compact if only it is finite okay other way around us the the surface topology on a will be discrete topology okay right now let's look at the third example what should be the third example in discrete right now suppose a is an non-empty subset of x i want an open cover Yeah, open cover of A of type 1. Now, therefore, my A should be contained in union UI. Right? That means, yeah, if is A in an arm empty, therefore, if I fix an A, there is an A I in I such so that A belongs to UI. Therefore, UI is non empty. But UI is a non empty open set in the indiscrete topology, therefore my UI must be all of X. Right? Therefore, what is the conclusion? Again, do you see that I am not worrying about surface topology, I am working out only with open cover of type 1. Yeah? So, if there is an open cover, then there exists one of them must be all of X. That means that means a finite subcore. Let me call it J if you want. So singleton U J is a finite, in fact, consisting only only finite subcover. So what is the conclusion? Any subset of an indiscrete space. is compact okay pause review proceed now let's look at the fourth example let's look at r with the vip topology Now suppose A assume it's a non-empty subset as usual subset of R. Because remember empty set is compact always. So whenever I talk about the compactness of subset, I think it will be better to assume always A is non-empty. So that you know why I keep saying that. Okay. Right. Now let's look at this. So again, I want to know whether I, I do not know what is going to happen. So let us just deal with it. if you had looked at the example of VIP topology we discuss about compactness non-compactness you will know how to approach this okay right so given any a what are the simplest open sets containing a u a equal to a comma zero right therefore my a is containing union u a as a in a do you agree with that therefore again u a a in a is an open cover of which type of type 1 why it's type 1 i do not know whether u a is going to be open or not in a are you following because if my a is a subset of r star then i have to take u a intersection a that will be only singleton a do you understand that Therefore, this collection again is an open cover of type 1. Alright? Very good. Now, when does it admit a finite subcover? Suppose there exists a finite subcover so that A, equal, A is contained in union A in F of UA. What is this then? This is nothing other than F union singleton 0. 
do you understand because ua is a comma zero therefore all my a as a varies over f will be there and zero will be there that's it since a this is finite this is finite set right therefore what is the conclusion a must be finite are you following yes so what is that thing we are talking let a be a subset of r where, where r is given vp topology if a is compact okay then it has to be finite and anyway if f is if a is finite it is always compact that we had already seen any finite subset of a space is always compact therefore what you have shown is the following what is the conclusion a subset of r with the vap topology is compact if and only if a is finite okay let me look at the time yeah right now let's look at the fifth case what should be the fifth case r with outcast topology outcast is zero right now why, why you all of you remember the right right if i give an a in r what is the simplest open set containing a it's single turn a if a is non-zero and if a equal to zero then it's all of r okay do you remember now this already tells me what should be suppose now a is a subset of r with outcast topology suppose a is compact right so this a is going to be union of let me call this as ua this also i will call it ua right yeah so a in a of ua yeah if it admits a finite subcurve what does it mean it may be a good idea to deal with it separate cases okay maybe let us do that suppose i can go here itself but uh, some of you may have difficulty so i am looking at two cases case one a is a subset of r star right in that case a equal to union u a let a in a right because each a is singleton u a is singleton therefore it's a right if it admits a finite subcover so this u a a in a has a finite subcover when if only u a is finite right therefore if a is a subset of r star then a is compact subset of r with outcast topology if and only if a is finite do you understand that so what is the conclusion right okay what is the case to case to use zero belong to a right now uh, so uh, <coughs> zero belong to a right now let's look at ui i in i is an open cover of a of type one right now since zero belong to a implies zero belong to uj for some j in i right but in the outcast topology therefore uj is open in the outcast topology containing zero that what does it mean that means uj is all of x 
you follow that yeah therefore my a is a subset of u j itself which is x therefore i have found a finite subcover that is u j is a finite subcover so now so can you okay combine both the results and uh, apply when is a subset a of r with outcast topology is compact if and only if i either of the following type what is that that is a is contained in r star and a is finite r zero belong to a whenever zero belong to a any subset which has zero inside is always compact isn't it beautiful see these are very simple minded examples so that you know you get used to abstract thinking okay that's one of the advantages of topology okay topology has a geometric flavor at the same time it's like algebra does in abstract thinking it's a topology trains you to think abstractly in a geometric way so in some sense they are both are abstract thinking but they are of different kind okay all right so please understand these things right now let's look at the last example this is the first so with that i will stop today's lecture sixth example suppose x is with the co-finite topology right then suppose a is a subset of x i want to know when it is compact and suppose ui i and i okay an open cover of what type of type one okay therefore a is contained in union ui is that clear all right now fix a p fix an a in a therefore a belong to uj for some j there exists j in i so that x belong to uj now what do i know about uj complement uj complement is x minus uj right is okay this is finite right you follow that so think of this this is my x and this is my a okay right and this is an open set which contains therefore only finitely many points are left out right okay are you following yeah. so let us look at a intersection uj complement this is subset of uj complement therefore this is also finite it may even be empty yeah you follow that so call this as a finite set f so for each x in f if f, f is empty then there is nothing to do okay there exists j of x in i so that x belong to uj of x you follow that yeah okay therefore do i have a finite subcover yes look at uj a single turn union u j of x as x varies over this finite set this is a finite subcover right yeah why because let's look at a minus uj right is what this is a intersection uj complement this is contained in union uj of x as x varies over f do you accept it this is a finite set yeah and what is a a is a minus uj union uj is contained in rather 
yeah you could right yes sir no yeah so look at the picture so this is a full of x and my a is complete blue that is this object okay this object is a and what is my uj this is the pink object this is uj right therefore a intersection uj is this namely the green objects and a minus uj is this therefore what do i say a is union of a intersection uj a minus uj you should be able to write a textbook proof for that okay all right so, and hence what you have said is if i go back to what we did therefore this collection uj union u j of x as j of x belong to f this is an a finite subcover of of type one right therefore what is what have you shown so let us say what is the conclusion the conclusion is if i take any subset of x with the cofinite topology i proved it has to be compact so let us make that conclusion clear so conclusion is any subset a of x with the cofinite topology is compact okay go through the proof learn this well because in the next lecture go through the proof learn this well because in the next lecture you know what i'm going to look at can you guess yeah x with co countable topology we want to find out what are all the compact subsets so the logic again is something exactly similar to that but you will see the difference okay in fact those who have few who are very adventurous go through this proof and try to look, find out what are all the compact subsets of a set x with co countable topology in fact it will be these things should be usually left as an exercise but uh, okay you should try on your own we will meet again